This quick video shows you how you can set up parental controls on your Fire TV Stick and Cube to stop people from buying apps from the App Store without your knowledge. It also stops them from watching programs that may be inappropriate for them. So all you need to do is go across to the settings cog over there, go down to preferences, middle button, and there you go. With parental controls highlighted, middle button, and then parental controls is off like mine. So press the middle button on the remote control it should then turn it on and then what it will do is it's going to ask for a pin number a four digit pin something that you can remember now if the numbers are from zero to four then there you go if you wanted the number one just press the up part of the remote on the remote if you want the number two press the right hand part of the ring on the remote if you want the three press the bottom of the ring on the remote control if you want the four press the left hand side of the ring on the remote control and if you want the zero press the middle button if you want to select digits from five to nine then press the three horizontal lines on your remote control and that changes and there you go so you've then got six at the top of the ring seven at the right of the ring eight at the bottom of the ring nine at the left of the ring and five in the middle of the ring and if you get it wrong and want to delete a character then just press the rewind button on the remote control and that will delete out a character so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to set a quick pin on the remote i'm just going to set one two three four there you go it's validating the pin and uh, just press the ok button and now we can set whether or not we want parental controls on we want to be able to pin protect purchases so if we want to stop people from going into the app store and purchasing apps on our account then we can turn that on viewing restrictions if we want to set viewing restrictions on there we can do too if we want to pin protect app launches so if there's certain apps that maybe are inappropriate then we can pin protect that too and we can also pin protect amazon photos and that app too so stop people from getting into our photos this could also be handy if say for instance you've got a fire stick in a holiday home or a rental that perhaps you don't want people mucking around with the stick too much you can turn this on to stop them from changing certain things on the device and just to give you a quick demonstration on how it works if i just press the home button on the remote control to go back to the main menu and then if i go back into settings again and then say go into applications there you go it's going to ask for the pin the pin that i just selected without it we can't get in here if you do want to take this pin off at any time then what you've got to do is go into preferences go into parental controls and then you can just turn parental controls off by pressing the middle button on the remote control do your pin and there you go it's now switched off I hope you found this video useful and if you did hit that thanks button and make a donation to this channel or have a look in the description down below there's a link to my Amazon shop there's also links to Fire TV sticks Fire TV cubes and VPNs some great deals down there for you buying subscribing and donating really does help support this channel it helps me to be able to make more of these quick videos and also spend time researching the longer videos too and whilst you're at my YouTube channel why not stick around I've got thousands of other videos for you right here right now covering all sorts of subjects hopefully whilst you're here you're going to find something to educate you entertain you amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money and if you do see any videos that you think your friends your family or your work colleagues might like to see then please don't forget to share these on your social media timelines if you want to hit me up on x formerly known as twitter then my handle is at cwtek or if you want to have a look at my website it's cwtek.co.uk thanks very much for watching and see you again soon